Peace. It's Equality Fragrances coming to you from PG County, Maryland. Welcome to my cipher. A cipher is a person, place, thing within my circumference to understand, and I'm a cipher. It's peace. For all those returning to my channel, I humbly appreciate your support. For all those new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when I drop some new videos. The like button goes a long way. If you don't like what I'm saying, hit the dislike. Don't forget to comment. If you're not following me on IG, my IG link will be in the description. There, I give you my um, center of the days, my fragrances of the week. You can see a little bit of my collection. You might even give me some ideas on some reviews on what you want to hear from a review. Anyway, now I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Come on in, sit down, and let's build. Fragrance I'll be discussing today is a good one, especially for this upcoming spring season. And that comes from Atelier Cologne, and that's Vetiver Fatal. You know how I do. We're going to get into what the notes are, when will I wear it, how would it perform, what's my ranking, and what my total thoughts on this fragrance is. With that being said, let's get to the notes. The notes on this beauty, you have Calabrian Bergamot, Sicilian Lemon, Bitter Orange, Orange Blossom, Violet Leaf, Black Plum, Haitian Vetiver, Cedarwood, and Oud. What does that mean? And what do I get on skin? On skin, this fragrance is linear. It's not complex, but this is very green, bitter, luminous, earthy vetiver with a salivating plum note that will make your mouth water. The Sicilian lemon and Calabrian bergamot and bitter orange in the background makes this amazing. I don't get the oud. I know they say agar wood oud is in this. I don't pick up on that. I do get the violet leaf. The violet leaf is beautiful. It's a nice major player. This almost, the type of vetiver you get is almost like the vetiver in Tom Ford's gray vetiver. It's very green. It almost reminds me of springtime, the smell of wet, damp grass and juicy fruits. This has been compared to Barredo's Bald Afri. To me, they're two totally different scents, but I get the comparison. Bald Afri. Some people might find that to be, for those who put gender on fragrances, find that to lean a little bit feminine because of the floral aspect nature of it. This leans more to the center, if not masculine. But they are similar. I saw on Fragranica, some people said this, this could be compared to Vetiver Tonka. Never smelled it. I can't speak to that. They can't speak to things I don't know. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give this a solid 9. Easy. Man, extremely versatile. You can make this your signature scent. Wear it year round, office friendly, first date, date nights, um, meeting somebody's parents for the first time. This is this is just this is beautiful, juicy, classy, elegant, opulent delicious just bitter grassy fragrance I can't I can't say enough of this this is going to get major burn is not my favorite vetiver within my collection but this is an extremely wearable vetiver if you like Tom Ford's great vetiver try this out if you like bald ad freak try this out you will like this as well this is unisex women try it out so with that being said have, do you own this? If you do, leave your comments. Tell me what you think. How much? What's the performance like on your skin? What are you getting? Don't forget to follow me on IG. Link is in the description. Please like the video. The like goes a long way. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you the way I greeted you. And that's in universal language. Peace.